all cadets had to write a thesis, and I chose future developments in aircraft design, rather ambitious, and rather concentrated on the engine side. But the main thing in that thesis was that uh, I arrived at what I now know, know was the well-known Breguet formula, I wasn't familiar with it at the time, connecting speed, range, engine efficiency and so forth. And to me that meant that if you wanted to go very fast and far, you would have to go very high, at heights of 50,000 feet, that sort of thing, at heights where the piston engine obviously wouldn't work, and at speeds which the pre pre uh, where the propeller wouldn't work. So it was, I started to look for a new kind of power plant. Whittle prepared this paper during the first half of 1928, but his findings at Cranwell were the fruit of the five years he had by now been training there. My Cranwell thesis, um, when the professor marked it, he wrote on it, uh, in effect, because he didn't really understand it, but he gave me 30 out of 30, which I thought was quite satisfactory. Whittle envisaged flying speeds of 500 miles an hour at a time when propeller planes struggled to reach 150. These machines were noisy and shook the pilot terribly. That's because their engines were actually car motors on a bigger scale with many moving parts. Whittle felt an aesthetic dislike for such power plants. The problem with the piston engine as you go up height, even though you supercharge it, is that the power drops off as the air gets thinner and there eventually comes a point where it, it won't generate enough power to turn itself over against its own friction. Whittle's idea would use the same principle as a balloon filled with air. When this escapes, every child knows what happens. But it wasn't clear how an engine might recreate such a force. I considered a piston engine driving a fan inside a hollow fuselage and then thought, well, why not throw that piston engine away the compression ratio of the fan and substitute a turbine for the piston engine. And there was the turbojet. 